Yo! Video games. Alright, so here it is. We're starting Strider. And uh, Simmons here has not actually played through much of Strider. And I've beaten it on normal. I've almost beaten it on hard now. And I've almost gotten all the extra costumes and all the fancy swag in the game. Or I have gotten them all. And now I'm going to guide Matt through Strider so he can get through the main campaign and get a little bit of extra things on the way, but nothing too crazy. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Now it's kind of different because I don't, well, like, usually Simmons beasts through all these games really fast. He traded off. He's, he's guiding me through Tropical Freeze. And I'm going to guide him through Strider. So let's go. This game's not too long either. Yeah. Um, I think if I guide you like where you should be going approximately, it'll be about four hours. It's really, it's kind of lengthy for a $15 game, to be honest. That's way longer than any of the other Strider games. Whee! I wouldn't jump over there. Just can, go straight. You can die. Can you die there? You, oh, yeah. You can fall. Literally just run forward and chop the fuck out of everything. Yeah, I think the fact that it doesn't let you use D-pads is fucking awful. It takes a while to get used to. Yeah. It's I not like, like the game is unplayable or anything with the analog stick, but it's just like, why the, why the fuck can't you use yeah, the D-pad? Yeah, it's kind of like, why not? It still, it still works just fine with the the analog. It just, when you realize it doesn't use the D-pad, it's like, oh, well, okay. Don't really have any issues then. Go down. Ooh. Smack up everything. Is there anything else down there? No, that's it. Okay. We'll go down here and go to the left. We kind of run past all these guys and just chop them up. And then you get your first upgrade. Oh, you got massive Strider. That's super angry Strider. X Factor level 3, and it's already gone. You only get that if you, um, can just blow up that piece of shit. Just chop it out of it. Yeah. You only get that if you hit guys a lot and don't get hit. And you have a little meter that builds okay. up a lot. It's like a combo meter, basically. It's literally a combo meter. Um, so down and, down and A. Look down and jump to slide in that direction, and you'll blast through doors. There you go. It's also kind of an attack too, it's not a great one. It's the one that you can kind of throw in from distance. I want to get around people. You can't do go down there yet. You actually won't be able to go back down there for a while and it's not necessary either. It's like an extra bonus thing. Yeah, just keep blasting forward. <laughs> like, oh! a, a lot a lot of this I game have a launcher. is yeah, and I I really don't know what a lot of good the launcher does. Like in in my opinion, I haven't used it very much. It doesn't seem to stun enemies different than other attacks. I could be wrong, but it's uh, it's definitely one that. You no, know, like special upper, like no, launcher not really. special. Like, yeah, not really. You can just launch them and follow them up in the air and like chop them up. But some guys you just can't launch, you know. It's good for these dudes. He's like peons, but you can kind of just chop them up regardless. So I don't really like using it a lot. Kill those two bastards. Was Strider 2 on... Yeah, Strider 2 did not actually make it to PS1 Classics. That kind of sucks. You have to find a copy of that friggin' game. You get frequent health upgrade places, like, all the time. You don't need to kill those guys. Literally, killing enemies doesn't give you anything. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of this game is technically being a ninja, so if you can avoid conflicts, you totally can. And uh, it's literally very Mega Man esque in that in that way. So go up. Oh, you, you blast that thing up, and then go up after this. Huh. You, have to, you have to charge and hit him, but you don't have to charge yet. So hit that green thing over here to the left. These things are actually count towards your uh, the green thing to your left. These things count towards your total completion, which is kind of weird because all they do is just give you health. So go up. Health completion. No, no, sir. I don't want your shotgun. And blast under the uh, thing on the left. Barum, diving in on that son of a bitch. So you're not gonna be able to get to that cold thing for a long time. And as you can tell, the uh, the mini map at the top kind of gives you a general idea of which direction you should be going. Ah! Fucking stop shooting at me! They will shoot you through through zones. Fucking asshole. Yeah. The jazz one. Destructoid did give this game a 9.5. freaking Yeah, with the reflect cipher, the launcher actually angles the bullets in different directions, so that's very helpful then. Oh shit, he's hitting me the fuck up. So you can slide underneath them to avoid attacks, slide through them. That happens with a lot of enemies too. 
Ooh! Tricky stone, bitch. He's all Wesker in you. Rah! Good night. Get your stuff. Go left to get stuff. Am I good on health? Yeah, you're good on health. That's that's your max. All right. The uh, the gray part is the the maximum amount that you can get. And now we got. I think you were telling me about this. It's basically like the Buster. The, the Buster charge shot. Yep. Like, You'll yeah. pretty much be holding down the X button for like the duration of the game. It goes through shields. It stuns enemies. Does more damage. It's just generally good, and you can do it when you slide. Yeah. Chippy chap. And it's fun. And it opens doors. Everything you acquire in this game that's a weapon will also open doors and have multifunctionality. And now you the best thing you can do is use it against these guys. He's already dead. See how fast that went? Whoa, look out. I usually use the um the slide is like a mobility dodge. Just get the fuck out. Nice. And they're dead. Get the fuck out of my way. I'm gonna liberate Borat. That's what this game's about, right? Yes, absolutely. You're gonna liberate Borat from You're gonna liberate Borat. <laughs> I think this is the first boss already, yeah. You notice how there's a tiger back there? It's kind of like. Foreshadowing. It's kind of foreshadowing the stuff that you will get. This is like this is like kind of based off the first boss in the first game, where all those like yeah, there's Russian like parliament members all turned into a dragon. Yes, there's there's a lot of references to old bosses, and there, you will come across bosses like the giant the giant Bor gorilla Boros. and stuff like that. Mechapon, the giant gorilla, is a lot of fun. Really? There's yeah. there's a fucking robo there's gorilla. A giant robot gorilla in this game, and he's really cool. There's a lot of boss battles actually, mini ones and new enemies and active boss battles and stuff like that. You just essentially climb the shit out of this thing and don't go up too far. Just like be patient. This boss fight's actually kind of frustrating on uh, on hard. I'd imagine so. Gonna be you have, like you can't get hit by anything like until like the last form. It's just too difficult. You can aim the cipher in like any direction, like aim away direction. Interesting. No! So you won't be able to recover this. He always pushes you back twice. And just, just avoid this shit and chop him up. It's just a wave. A wave of douchebags. Douche wave! Let's go away. Let's go away. Douche wave! Jump over these fuckers and just keep going forward. Look out for the giant plasma things that go up the coil. Those hurt the most. He roared! Yeah, he's, he's, he is a creature. Yeah, nice. Yeah, this game does not run at 60 frames per second on older consoles. Um, I actually ended up buying the game on 360. Oops. Just avoid these. Don't, don't slide. Uh, duck under some, but just avoid them and don't try to move forward. Uh, I got the game on, on 360 because I was waiting for the Xbox One version to came out, and right as soon as I was done, the Xbox One version randomly showed up, and it wasn't supposed to. So I was briefly playing it at 30 frames per second mode, and it is drastically a different game, dude. It is kind of crazy how it's like, wow, this game needs 60 frames. You say that oh, shit. oh, fuck! You, 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 oh, no, I'm not even kidding. That. You will see this game at 30 and be like, yeah, no. They, yeah, no. Duck, 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 duck. And he's dead. Well, Max, you say every game can need 60 frames, except for Resident Evil 4. I think it way. should. I mean, I think it should. I think that's. I think that it's. It affects gameplay, so it should. But <laughs> you know, sometimes games can't handle it. Sometimes it's time for commercial break. Uh, we could take one. We'll just keep on going. Yeah. We're moving into the next area. Mm. All right, it's t time to leave the. Fucking dragon. What the fuck was that thing called? Never ending story. Uh. Falgor? Falgor. Yeah. Kind of. So yeah, just keep going left. Like mutant Falgor. Alright. Check, check, check. 
And you'll notice how awesome charging that shit is when you can just rip through guys left and right. And you will take hits. Like, you actually don't have any, any way of doing things about bullets other than just dodging them. Until a little bit later. Can't go through that yet. Yeah. The Minister of Cultural Affairs over here. Yeah, well, you'll kill him eventually, don't worry. Cool. Cool. <laughs> hey. Yeah, keep going up and left. Well, I'm on like a dome, Russian dome. These are similar to the ones in uh, the first game. Yep. Okay, so tell, seriously, does this have like any relation to the previous games, or is it like completely? It reboot? exists in the same world. I'm pretty sure it, it exists within the same lore, because it's the same characters. You know, it's like another Grandmaster Mayo, mm. and it's the po the Pooh sisters. Okay, just beat the shit out of this guy. Avoid that thing, because it comes back. Look out! Yo, get up your strider boost really fast, but he's, as soon as he turns around, he's gonna hit on both sides to just avoid him completely. Yeah! Yeah, girl! He's very angry. Get some health. I'm very angry. I'm very angry. What does that say about it, huh? I'm very angry! I got down strike! Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use it! You got it. Uh! That guy chopped in half. Yeah, that's some cool dismemberment with the uh, with the guard bots. Okay, so is this game? I'm gonna assume it's like rated T, right? I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's violence technically. Yeah, but like it's people. it's doing that Samurai Jack thing where it's like we're not killing people, we're killing robots. Yeah, kinda. So we can show like dismemberment and shit like that. They sound like robots and all that stuff. Yeah. Roger, Roger. God. That's what they are, Max. Oh, God. There's no way around it. Keep heading on up. Roger, Roger. You can use it in attacks, too. What, probably one of the better things you can do with it is launch a guy, and then when they're in the air, hit him a couple times, and then down strike him. You're not really missing anything as you going forward. Subway, we eat first. Down into the right. Right down there. Blast through. Blast on the Yeah, that's how you do it. Ah, boom. Shot up first. You can charge and shoot him and hit him through the wall. If you charge the uh, the Buster or the Cypher, you can hit guys through the, the wall. The Buster. Actually, I think you have level seven on your brain. That's um, that's Mega Man talk, dude. Not the Buster sword. No, the, the Buster. That's what Mega Man's gun is called. His arm. Mega Buster. Yes. I don't even need to fight this guy, so I need to avoid him to go down. Okay. Yeah, go! Uh, you can pop down through here, but you don't really need to. There's like a secret on the right, but it's like only concept art. Uh, keep going right, and then go up, you're gonna hit a switch. Up? Yeah. Press A to go up faster. Oh, okay. Okay, right, right, right. I can't. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah, that's not my way. Oh shit! Fuck. Kind of like Strider in a nutshell. Get out of the fucking way. Yeah, right. Who the fuck are you? You'll probably be able to figure out this small sort of puzzle. Just fall off, and you'll auto grab onto it. Trying to fall off. <laughs> Just run off the edge. Okay. 